great episode of Broken Play. Man, we got a special guest in the building. Man, y'all clap it up for the one and only Van Lathan in yeah. the building. What up, boy? What's up? What up? It's good to have you here, man. It's good to be here, bro. It's good How you to feeling? Be here. I'm feeling fantastic, man. So much shit to talk about. The more shit there is to talk about, the better it is for me. <laughs> Say less. <laughs> <laughs> so look, All Star Weekend. We gotta we gotta start talking about this right out the gate. Is All Star Weekend the same how it used to be like when we when we were growing up watching it? Hell no. No. It's not even close. It's not even nearly the same. Man, the kids didn't even know the dunk contest was this weekend. Like that's, that's how true. you remember. Like it used to be. Like you would want to watch it. You just look at the highlights. So of the names. It, it, yeah, the names. Now the all it, it's going. It went. It was even up and down, even towards the end. But like. There was always at least one All Star dunk contest, one All Star weekend thing every w couple years. That mm -hmm. was just like, oh shit! It was Kobe. Even when Brent Barry, remember Brent Barry bust out the warm ups yeah, and he fell from, the, from free the free throw line. line. Yeah. Um, Vince Carter, Tracy oh, yeah. McGrady, that Steve Francis, Jason Richardson hold it down. But it's been oh, we forgot about Jason Richardson. Jason Richardson, back to bro. Back. He was yeah, back to back. he used to go crazy. Go crazy, and now. Everything seemed like it's just worse than the last thing that you watch. Yeah. It's just it's whack. The loss is luster. And you got, but I will say this: you got all stars doing the three point contest. That's fun. But how fun is watching the three point contest? It's, 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 they making it more fun now because it's like you're at the edge of your seat. Like, is he gonna are they gonna win or not? Who? And all them shooters. I want the edge of shit. I turn that <laughs> shit off. <laughs> But it's but you know why it's more competitive. Good though? You know why the three point contest is good? Cause you can tell that they give a fuck about it. Yeah. Okay. Like even in the dunk contest, people talk about the dunk contest. Number one, they look scared. They're not out there like they want to win that motherfucker. They look like they scared they the cool. fuck up. It's cool. Yeah, they mm -hmm. too cool for it. Like Dominique Wilkins was trying to rip the goddamn the rim, off. rim off that mother. And they care when they lost. In the three-point contest, at least it looks like they care, like they want to win, like they competing you for You can it. see their emotion behind yeah. it and all that shit. I do like the fact that Jalen Brown did get in yeah, the dunk for, contest. Yeah, for sure. Though. For sure. Same. That was terrible, bro. Was yeah, well, he, he did I, it, though. Yeah, but yeah, good kudos for it, though. Because <laughs> yeah. when's the last time you seen an all-star that's in the game participate in the dunk contest? Yeah. yeah. Dwight Howard? I don't know. It's a long time. A long time ago. Yeah. Who? Blake. Now Blake. Blake Griffin, he used to be exciting to, uh, to watch. He only did one, contest. though. But that, but I think he did two, two didn't he? Oh. Cause jumped over the key. He jumped over the key. I, I think only he only that he only did one. He won one. I think. Yeah, he won I don't know if he came one. back. I don't think he... But if you look at that, that was a little run where it came back. You had Dwight Howard and Nate Robinson. You had Blake, and then you had maybe a couple down years, and then you had, of course, what I think is Zach and Aaron. That's the best dunk best contest one. final. That's what they said yeah. last week. <laughs> What's up, man? It's your boy Nail Green from Broken Play. And if you're not on Prize Picks up right now, what you waiting on, man? It's just getting started. We got college basketball finna kick off in full gear. March Madness. This one, it all counts. Uh, fresh off of NBA, all-star. It's over with. Now they finna start playing for real. So it's gonna be more defensive stats. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, what well, we got? Baseball coming up. Man, what you waiting for? Whatever you deposit. If you deposit up anything up to $100, they gonna match it. Man, you could do what? We don't know what your money looking like. Taxes ain't hit yet. If you got $62 in your last $62, put it up and they're going to match it. Now you got carry the one, 124. Come on, stop playing. Get on prize picks. But you got to use the code Broken Play. If you don't use that code, they ain't going to match it. And tell them we sent you Broken Play. That's B R O K E N P L A Y. You type that in, and if they don't match it, you tell me. I can't do nothing about it, but just tell me. And I'll tell them that you. But no, sign up for prize picks. I, I felt like I didn't disagree with them. I feel like that was the best, like, you know, competitive-wise. But the most memorable, I always just think about that Vince Carter dunk contest. Like, for some people, it would be the Mike and Dominique, but I, I didn't see that. I saw that Vince Carter live. And, like, as a kid watching that shit, I was like, this shit amazing. I'm going to play the diplomat. What you're talking about is the best performance. That's the best performance ever. The best contest going dunk for dunk, uh -huh. who is like up in the ante is either Jordan and Dominique, which is we do, if we do that, that's just because 
I mean, that shit looked like the Negro Leagues of basketball now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like it got the whole shit going yeah. back in the day. And like, it, you look at it like that. But when you're talking about up in the ante, like, guys going for it, mm -hmm. them two light-skinned niggas was dunking their ass. Yeah. That's crazy. The creativity wanna... was amazing. And yeah. then, was he robbed, though? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I think so. I think it was because Aaron was more creative. Like, Zach was doing the same dunk. Different ways, amazing free throw line between the legs, free throw line windmill, like crazy. But Aaron was just so so creative, bro. Like he just he got raw. He had all fifties, most of the fifties in a dunk contest, and never won a dunk contest. That's crazy. I told y'all that the Eastern All Stars were gonna beat the Western All Stars. Don't ask me how I knew. I just knew who was gonna play <laughs> tough. Cause look, the Western All Star, all them, all, let's be real, all them niggas cool. LeBron, cool. Kevin Durant, cool. Joker don't give a damn. Yeah. Luca don't give a, like they fooling. <laughs> they just got a weekend off. They just hanging out. The yeah. Eastern All Stars, they got some shit to prove. All of them. The young and hungry. Young and yeah. hungry. That's some yeah. of their first time. Look at Halliburton. He was shooting a pill. Uh, now nah, I can't speak. Lights out. I don't know what was Dame Dame doing. Dame act like you get a bonus for that shit. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> I, I fucked with it though, cause it's like you look around and everybody is unserious. Dame like, nah, I'm gonna play this. Yeah, game, that nigga didn't smile. Yeah, he out there. I'm a, I'm a. It's a trophy to take home. I'm taking that motherfucker home. Yeah. So good on him, bro. <clears throat> when he shot it from half, he shot a he shot a set shot from half court. That's a regular jump shot. Multiple. He did it more than once. Too. And that bitch, the cash. I'm like, nah, he going for it, man. The whole thing. Yeah, he 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 wanted that. But look, they saying how to make the All-Star game more competitive. Like, do we want to see a competitive All-Star game? I like I, I, yeah. I like to see them do little stuff. Like, look, little tricks when they playing basketball. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you didn't see when Joker and Luca were tapping, tapping that motherfucker back and forth down the court. Them, I would love to see them two motherfuckers play together. Not me, bro. It'll be you would? Like nah, going. man. I, I, I'm not. I'm not in for team white supremacy, bro. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? It's like that's gonna be. You know how many demoralized niggas it's gonna be if Joker and Luca end up on the same team. Joker, bro. Joker will make Luca so much better because right now Luca got the ball a lot. It's not easy yeah. to play with Luca. His usage is very high. Yeah. But if he out there with Joker. The ball gonna move. Luca gonna get all types of different. It's gonna be hell on the league, bro. It's gonna be hell on the bro, league. They bro. gonna figure some shit out. I like. I like the fact that they were trying some shit. Luca tried to do us. Uh, he got hung. That's he got, got hung. hung. <laughs> I like to see that. I like to see that. That could be white man can't jump three. I like to see shit. Like I like to see people fail sometimes. But you gotta try to fail. <laughs> Come look, if he would have did the shit, I would have called the nigga the greatest player in the goddamn game. To see him, I was like, he still got work to do. And you know what's crazy is when he did it, like a nigga stood up like, oh, shit. Right. Nah, okay, Luca. Yeah. Even no, the same thing. All, all, the, all the players laughing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at Luca. When Jokic is about to, like, Jokic cocked it back, like he about to dunk and just finger rolled it, like, ah. Yeah. See, my thing is this. I feel what you're saying. It is fun to watch them get their shit off, but, bruh, the game just got so boring, bruh. Is like if you go to a pickup game at 24 Hour Fitness, mm -hmm. it's better than what the product of the All Star game was. After a while, you like somebody take the shit a little bit seriously. more serious. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. But so look, so tell me, y'all want to see them playing lock up defense? Yes, <laughs> man. I don't know about it. I, I, so then we want to saw Dame shooting the bitch from half court. Someone press up after you make one, okay, baby, you shoot it from half court. Again. Well, see, my thing is this. You ain't got to play lockup defense. Mm -hmm. I do need 65% effort. Effort, okay. 65. 35 ain't going to get it done. 65 is cool. But, man, you got to think. They been drinking all weekend, <laughs> hanging all weekend. Like, so, bro, back up. Nigga, you know I'm still drunk. Like, watch out. <laughs> what you doing? So they just chilling. Like, we just out here. We getting paid free weekend. It's a good point. You see LeBron didn't come back after the first quarter. Yeah, he done. That nigga 42, 49, 30,000 years old. He just come out there, <laughs> do it. Like, bro, really, that's for the kids, bro. Yeah. bro. That's for the kids. LeBron come out there for the kids. I, it is funny, though. This is something unique in society where you can make a nigga work on his weekend off and then complain about it. 
Mm-hmm. Like, that's, they break. They working on they break. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to work at Best Buy. I was notorious. Don't call me on my day off, ever. Like, Van, we need you to pick up a sh- As soon as I hear shift, click, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> I'm at the Daiquiri shop. You know what I'm saying? So these guys are working on their day off. But I will say, you just wonder, not just in the NBA, in sports, is the era of the All-Star game just dead. Oh, yeah, because the Pro Bowl over with. The Pro Bowl the crazy. The Pro Bowl's fun, though. I like nah, the flag football shit. I, I like think it's fun, bro. I think it's cool. Dodgeball. Shit. That shit whack, bro. That shit whack, cool, bro. Man. Bro, even people who love sports don't want to watch that shit. I don't watch it. I just think it's cool. Yeah, so Because the Pro Bowl it. game wasn't fun anymore. They weren't doing it. Yeah, he ain't even watch it. You I saw you advocating for some shit you ain't even see. Oh, you didn't even watch it? I saw a little bit. Oh, that's just, I saw like, the flag that's just like a nigga, bro. I saw the flag football. That's just like a nigga. He's like, bro, that shit is great. Yeah. I ain't see it, though. It's great for the game. No, the fuck is not. It's better than the pro. what they were doing on the Pro Bowls. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to tell you, the highlight of the All-Star Weekend was Sabrina going against Steph. I did like seeing that. that was yeah, fun. it was fun. That was fun. That's what you got to do. Most shit like that. Let, let it be a, a, one of the players and his wives going against another player and his wife. <laughs> you just got to start being creative. <laughs> Yeah! Mm-hmm. Aisha and Steph. Now, why are they going to watch this shit and steal my shit now? They will. Yeah. <laughs> Aisha and Steph versus Savannah and Braun. Now, see, that, what's going to be crazy is when that game gets competitive. Oh, yeah. And Steph will look at Aisha like, yo, nigga, I said come off the fucking screen and shoot. <laughs> yeah. I said hey, shoot that bitch nah, off the screen. When they switch and Aisha got the ball and Braun blocked the shit Get out the of that motherfucker. Shit out of and Steph crazy. Like, hey, man, don't do that shit to my wife now. <laughs> don't do that shit to my old lady. That when the shit going to be competitive. That's what it got to do, though. Who is the face of the league when LeBron, Steph, and KD retire? You know who I'm saying. Ant-Man. Straight up. Ant-Man didn't even give a fuck about he the All-Star care, game. Nah, he didn't care. He from Atlanta, though. Yeah. Jalen from Atlanta, he was going crazy. Oh, Jalen had crazy. Jalen was going crazy. Yeah, Jalen. Because we didn't, we didn't go on through a couple of people I thought was going to be the face of the league. Who was your just, first person you thought was going to be the face? I thought that it was going to be Zion Williamson. Oh. Because nigga, let, let me tell you why. That nigga the face of Steakhouse. Yeah, plates. <laughs> Bro, when you watched him in high school, like for example, he was because you know boy. what's funny though. What's funny is there are a couple of people who would have been crazy at a lot of this stuff that just kind of fell off. Like John ja Morant would have been a crazy dunk contest participant. Mm. Ja, Zion Williamson would have been a crazy dunk contest participant. Mm. But like when he was coming out of Duke. Went to Duke, the way he plays, the whole nine, big smiley. They, America love a big smiley nigga, right? <laughs> big smiley nigga. Shaq. And a big su- Shaq, smiley nigga. Yeah. A smiley nigga they love. Yeah. And he just, he won't, bro. He'll eat the table, is what Stephen A. Smith said. <laughs> He'll eat. So it's like, so, but now the next, I guess it will be Ant. Um, Shay Wimby, they want Wimby to be a bad. Wimby a bad Wimby motherfucker, a bad. though. Yeah. Wimby a bad motherfucker. You don't think Giannis is. Giannis is there. Giannis, is there. Uh, he got age on him, though. So he's, he's still under 30. He's 20, he is? He's he 28, 29. He's 28, 29? Yeah, he's 28, 29. God, damn, he up. Y'all ain't got to start. Like, but Giannis, he practiced so hard. Like, he looking like he over 30. I ain't even know he was there. I thought. He's been in the league since, like, 2013, 2014. Yeah. It's been a while, so you feel like he older. But he came, he was 17, 18 when yeah. he came. Wimby. But Wimby's so young, though. He's very more marketable. D book, nah, not so much. Ant Man, he he marketable too. Giannis say he don't even watch basketball. That was crazy. Like he don't even watch film, bro. Like he said, he just go out there, just like he don't know what. It's not affecting he just, him. He's just playing. Yeah, two time MVP, defensive player of the year, champion. He, he just play hard. Yeah, yeah. He don't he don't look at. He probably don't need no plays. <laughs> you know who should be the face of the league? Who? The honest. Oh, his brother? His brother. The Nassus. The Nassus. The Nassus. The Nassus. The Nassus. The Nastiest. The, the Nastiest is my favorite player in the league. Shut the watch, hell bro. up, man. Bruh, bruh, bruh. You ain't never seen a nigga that whack that's, that got that much confidence. <laughs> I don't, bruh. There's never in life. Y'all see, y'all looking at him wrong, bruh. Y'all looking at him like something negative. You can't, you ain't never seen in nothing a nigga that's that whack that had that much confidence, bro. I will give you that. He confident as a He confident because he, he got the ultimate job security. Right. Oh, yeah. Nothing happening Nothing to him. Happening. So when it's when he get on the court, baby, it's time it's to up. it's showtime, it's baby. And 
he hit the fucking sham god. Like, it's like, it's like when I get on the court, and but bro, he misses every time, and every time he's more shocked than the last time that he missed that bitch. Come <laughs> <Right? laughs> what the oh shit. Hey, bro, it be point zero 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 two seconds left. This motherfucker playing locked up. Like, <laughs> man, get your you ass man. back, man. Bro, imagine a nigga like him. I want to see him in a dunk contest, though. I do too. <laughs> I want to see him do all of the contests. I want to see because the rising stars. I want to see him do the rising stars. Been in the league seven years. I want to see him stars. in the game. I want to see him shoot three the point. three the three point contest. I want to see him go up against somebody from the WNBA. The whole nine. It's a whole weekend of him. They're talking about um trying to implement um one versus ones or two versus twos on All Star Weekend. Mm. I'm kind of like. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't... It just... But Stephen A., he said LeBron is the reason why he ruined the dunk contest. I think that's an interesting take. I, I wouldn't say that it's wrong. I would say that it is kind of crazy to make right. one guy responsible for a whole right. culture or something. Wow. But when LeBron didn't do it... I remember one year he said he was going to yeah. do it and he yeah, didn't do he it. Yeah, he said he was going to do it. Yeah, when LeBron didn't do it, he did break the lineage of the star wing player going to do the dunk contest. Kobe had done it. Vince Carter had done it. Jordan had done it. A lot of these guys had gone, gone out and done it. Tracy, T Mac yeah. did it. A lot of those guys did it. When he didn't do it, Not it made, it, like, nah, it, made it less important. Yeah. Hey, but you got to think LeBron could do Please. that shit now. Yeah, why not? You saw how he was dunking that motherfucker? Nah, bro. That's right. You crazy, Marce Marcel. Marcel. Yes, Possibly. he could do any dunk. Motherfuckers just gonna be excited to see him dunk. I don't bro. think he can do any dunk. What? He just jumps really high and, and dunks really hard. That's it. That's what we want to see. <laughs> <laughs> but you want to know? We want to see creative shit, bro. Hey, bro. If you want, if you want to see creative shit, look at halftime when a nigga bounce off the trampoline and do all that <laughs> dunk shit. If you want to see a good dunk contest, put LeBron. What, what, was, the, what was the best dunk to you this past weekend? In the game or what? Uh, in the dunk contest. The dunk I didn't watch that shit, bro. Oh, that, that, that dunk, that was the Yeah, best. I didn't watch it. First of all, we got to change the judges. The judging was horrible. Who was the judge? All old heads who wear it glasses, can't see shit, like... Fucking... I don't know. Dr. J. Dr. J wasn't Smith. a judge. He wasn't a judge. Who was the judges? Like, Dominique, know. was Dominique Wilkins Dominique a judge? Dominique was one of them. Now, Dominique is a good judge, because he, he know what, what he want to see. I'll tell you why it's the perfect time in his career for LeBron James to do the dunk contest now. I'll tell you why. Perfect time. Perfect time for him to do it. I feel like the reason why he didn't do it before is because he was scared to lose. Like, with LeBron, everything that he does is so scrutinized. Right. Sometimes, it's going to sound crazy, LeBron have a problem dropping his nuts because he don't like to pick them motherfuckers back up again, right? Like, you go out there and sometimes you just got to go hard as fuck and when you lose, just be like, fuck it, it didn't work out. Everybody lose. Everybody, it's, they be on his ass so much when he lose. If he did it now, he would be expected to lose. Mm -hmm. if, it, yeah. no, if he did it now, nobody going to think that a 52-year-old man is going to go out there <laughs> and win the dunk contest. So if he did it now, there's no pressure on him. Before, I'm telling you, the reason why he didn't do it is because he's not a natural dunk contest dunker. Right. Like, he doesn't have the in-air dexterity. I do think he would have won a dunk contest, though, if he'd have done it when he was a younger guy because he's yeah. just up there so high. But he did not want to lose. He was afraid to lose the shit. Now, that's gone. Do it. Like, do it next year. Come out there, gray hairs and all. They go, Everybody going to want him to win. If he lose, so what? You know what I'm saying? He always it's just he'll be creative. He would be very game. creative. I yeah. Have, have Bronny throw up. Think about that, bro. That's fatherhood, bro. That's During dope. February, that's black fatherhood. Have Bronny throw him the goddamn alley-oop. Get him an assist. He needs some stats. Like, have Bronny throw him the alley-oop. And then he that's dunked crazy. that bitch. Well, I'm saying... Hey, man. What, 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 what's Bronny up, shade. man? What? what, <laughs> what, what, what you seen, you you seen, seen him play live yet? Shit have here, Bron man. throw him the oop, bro. You know what I'm saying? He get on the board. I'm rooting for him. <laughs> I'm, I'm you see, rooting. Have you seen him play yet? I have seen him play. Who? Bronny. Bronny, you see. This is what I say about Bronny. Two things. One is he's gonna be fine. And he really is gonna be fine. Um, I don't know if I don't know where the one and done thing came from, but if yeah. you had watched him play enough, that was not gonna be a thing. Word, right? I agree. He's gonna be fine. Two, y'all gotta think, man. 
And I'm not trying to be, his heart stopped on the basketball court. Yeah. So you got to give him a little time. Grace. Yeah, yeah. Mentally to get back into it, to push his body, Cause you, all cause, of that. Because mentally, it still might be fucking with you like, damn, it's I don't got want to. Yeah. It, yeah. It's it's got to. Now nah, that's a real assessment of that. Cause like right now, when you when when you looking at him, he's he, I, I watched him play in high school. He's not playing the same way that he played in high school. Now obviously the competition is different. I think he'll be fine. You seen him play live? Yeah, for sure. How was it? It's not working right now. It's it's not. But like once again, he's a freshman at at U USC. USC. He's figuring the game out. So when when you figure it, he's a good defender. He got to work on his handle. Great shooter. The shooting stroke is absolutely there. Mm -hmm. So he'll be fine. But his his cap is not NBA superstar. The best version of Bron, Bronny, the best version of Bronny is like, uh, good player, good player, good solid player. Mike Conley, Drew Holiday, guys like that. Good veteran, solid pros. That's the best version of him. I agree. That's a good assessment. Uh, Doc Rivers, he three and seven in his first 10 games. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Doc Rivers, bro, that man lost me a lot of money against that Memphis game when they played against some G Leaguers and fucking lost before All Star break. That bro, was horrible. You got horrible coaching. Doc Rivers horrible don't effort. give a fuck. He don't care. He should. Bro, I just don't realize why y'all why y'all did that to the, the, the Adrian Griffin though. You gotta let him keep coaching that team. But for Doc Rivers, Doc Rivers, hey man, because anything you say to him, I got a ring. I know how to how it's done. Oh. We got to listen to Doc. Doc don't know shit. It shows. Doc don't know shit. What tier NBA coach do you put Doc on? A tier three. A tier three? Okay. Yeah, a tier three. Bro. I'll tell you like a two. He, I, I never got seen, one. So. I never seen him with a bad team, though. Never. Mm. So Maybe I can't in Orlando? Say, Maybe. Well, he did have a bad team. Man, he had motherfucking T-Mac. T-Mac T -Mac was going crazy then. I know. That's why I say it. <laughs> But shit, they, they didn't do shit either. <laughs> they weren't good in Boston before the trades. Yeah, they weren't. Like they like, but but, but the team uh, they put together. They did, but I will say win. this though, that was a hell of a coaching job for him though to manage those three guys. And I can get see them that. To win in so Miami. he a babysitter. Kind of. <laughs> and Rondo, I felt like they held Rondo back. They didn't realize what they had with Rondo. If they would have realized that shit, they would have won more than one. They, I feel like they did realize what they had in Rondo because he wasn't traded. He would have been part they of the trade Kevin Durant. Yeah, I'm saying they just didn't want to see him go nowhere else. Rondo was a dog, my son. Rondo's nice. My cousin was on that team. Who your cousin? Glenn Davis. For real? Big baby. Big baby. That's my dog. dog. That's my cousin. Yeah, yeah I never knew that. Yeah, bro. LSU. LSU. Baton Rouge shit. Damn. Cousin. That's crazy. He acting now and shit. Yeah. He doing his thing, man. Big jolly motherfucker. That's the jolliest nigga. He cool world. as fuck. Holy what what you shit. thought about when Kevin Garnett made him cry though? That did that shit like what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, what the fuck you saying to my cousin? Nick? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's why I be watching that shit like what the fuck he saying to cousin? <laughs> <laughs> Man, and me and Big Baby done chop it up, but I ain't I ain't know what to ask him. I ain't, I ain't know how to ask him that. I mean, he <laughs> he a, he a very you know he a very em like, emotional. Okay, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it don't. He one of them niggas that'll cry and beat the shit out you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like just be, <laughs> thumping on your ass. So, so he, he, it don't mean weakness. He just, you know, he's just very emotional, very emotional player. Mm. But nah, I would have never thought that. That's cool, man. Yeah, so you, were, you was rooting for Boston? Nah. For real? Nah. Cause you're a Laker fan though. I'm a Laker fan. So why would he root so for? He, yeah, he Cause it's his cousin on the he, team. Nah. Bro, like your second nah, second like, cousin or something? That's nah, my my dad's brother's son. Oh, first cousin. Oh. Well, you a cold motherfucker, nah, man. I'm Laker rooting, ties run I'm, deep. I'm rooting for you to do good. Right. Okay. <laughs> In a loss. So, so they played against like, the Lakers. Like, like, so when Boston beat the Lakers that year, you like, man, what the fuck, man? I was I was bruh. Like I was super duper. That's the hardest. I'm not even a big. So the the two biggest sports losses of all time for me. Everybody knows. Uh, 2012 national championship game from the 2011 season, LA, LSU versus Alabama, 21 mm -hmm. nothing, excruciating, painful loss. That was the score? The 21 nothing, yeah, painful, yeah. painful loss. One of LSU's best team. I thought it was all over for us, but that Celtics loss when they just that Celtic when they just bust the Lakers ass like that, 
excruciating, bro. Glenn wasn't on that team, though. I don't think he was on that. Yeah, no, yeah, it was. Was he? Yeah, he don't want a ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he won a ring. Team. He was on that team. He, he, and it went to game seven. But he didn't get, I don't think he got, I don't think he got any playing time on that. On that though. I don't think he was in there. You was sure? He? I don't think he got very many. That rotation know. tightened up. I don't know. Uh, yeah, probably during then. Yeah. He was probably undersized too with uh, what they had, Bynum. And, well, and Gasol. Yeah. The next no, year. No, I'm talking about Bynum on the uh, Lakers. Bynum didn't Gasol. play that series. He did? Yeah. He was hurt. Remember, he hurt himself earlier in the year. He hurt himself earlier in the year. Kobe fell on his uh, on his knee. That nigga was good for getting hurt. Kobe fell on his knee, and then he was done. Carmelo said the Lakers uh, trade in 2011 was a done deal. Melo and Nene for Odom and Bynum. Melo and Nene for Odom and Bynum. You remember Nene? Yeah, Brazilian. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dunk on your ass. That would have been a crazy... M Melo and Kobe? Bro, a lot of a lot of people think they wanted to play with Kobe till they get it. Man, exactly. Kobe ain't going for that fuck shit. <laughs> Word. You think y'all just gonna run up in the court, be smiling and shit? Man, hey man. Hey, bro, if you play with Kobe, not you know, Carmelo had a fantastic career. If you play with Kobe, you're gonna have to defend now. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna hold you accountable. He's gonna hold you accountable. And a lot of that's what a lot of players lack. They don't wanna be held accountable. You know, like when you go when you go ass. hoop at the uh at the rec center. And everybody just hooping, getting their shit off. But there's yeah. one nigga on the team that really want to win. He's like, yo, Joe. bro, play defense. Joe. Like, Whoa. <laughs> Joe. Joe Newman. <laughs> <laughs> we got a nigga right here in his office. He just like that. Man, Joe done made people quit working. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no, I'm talking about quit like the whole lead of basketball court and everything. You know, they done took their shit out of here. <laughs> Wait a minute, they quit their job. Quit their job. <laughs> We used to have four cameras in the room. Nigga took his whole camera set up. <laughs> Cause Joe told the nigga he wasn't playing hard enough. He ain't got no heart. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell that had to do with the show? Why the nigga took the camera from us? <laughs> that ain't shit be, man. Second half of the NBA season. What team you feel like gonna make that that push? Um, I feel like I like Dallas trading pieces, man. I like, I like, I like the I like the pieces, bro. PJ Washington. Daniel Gafford, I think they, I think they're gonna be riding the West. Anybody got another team? I do. Who? I want y'all to clip this. <laughs> I want y'all to clip this, Bruh, I know it don't seem like it right now. Watch out for Golden State, bro. Bro, why? I'm, just listen to me, bro. Listen, like, listen, <laughs> listen. And listen. what you think about Dallas? You were saying, like, like, no, no, I'm telling, I'm telling you, God, I'm telling you, bro. What they gonna do? Watch out for Golden State, bro. I'm telling you right Man, Curry now. Curry going to have an average 60 points. I'm, bro. Game. Okay, so let me tell you what's happening in Golden State right now. You have a mix of you have a mix of emerging players. I like Kaminga. Kaminga emerging, the white boy emerging. You have a What's his name? Sorry. Podiski. Podiski. Brandon. Um, Podiski. You have a healthy and active, I guess he's healthy. He might he got dinged up in the last game. Gary Payton the second, the energy change okay, when yeah, you get yeah. on the court. That's you true. You know what I'm saying? You got Draymond back. We'll see if he make the rest of the year without an assault charge. You know what I'm saying? And but if Clay can find some kind of consistency, some kind of consistency, the only thing that's gonna stop them is whether or not they're too small. I'm telling you, they're gonna make a run. Lakers too, bro. I'm with all the teams that had down first halves. I think they're coming back. I do see the Lakers. I just know Bron ain't he ain't finna go out like that. He gonna figure something out. Right now, those are the Lakers number nine, Golden State number ten. Damn, so I, what, playing. Let me, let me just, what's Golden State's record in their last ten? In oh, they been they, 10. they started a little streak though. They started getting hot. Okay, let's see the schedule. Eight and yeah, two. Boom. I'm telling you, they just need a little bit more from Clay. Clay playing some of the worst basketball I've seen, but he's been. He's been getting a little bit better. So they get more from him. I'm telling you, they, they'll be straight. Who your football team? The Saints? Saints, yeah. <laughs> no, I had to ask. Yeah. I, I know, so he keep it. So how is <clears throat> LSU, Saints, then Lakers? Okay. So LSU, my, um, LSU and Southern. My, my daddy went to Southern. My mom went to LSU. Mm -hmm. The Saints, because from right there, that's the home team. We lived in Hawthorne. Uh, California for two years, from 90 to 92. 
We had moved to California. My dad was like, fuck, we're going to move to California. Then the LA riots happened. Mm. We literally left two days after it. He was like, this nigga's too crazy. <laughs> We're going back to Louisiana. <laughs> we literally left Damn, two days after the riots. He, like, he was like, all right, pack it up, whatever, we go. Um, but while we was there, my first NBA basketball game I ever saw, my dad took me to the forum. I saw mm. Magic Johnson. Saw everybody out there, the Lakers. I saw all the celebrities and stuff, and I was a Laker fan. You were so sold ever since. Yeah. Did you watch, uh, what was my show? Winning Time. Winning Time. <laughs> I did watch it. Well, how you, you fuck with it? Not really. Really? really? Wow. Nah, it was kind of stupid. But it, it, um, it, 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 it. Bro, I never heard nobody say that about nah, that show. Nah, nah, fuck Winning Time, bro. But, but, it, but it was, it was okay to watch, but it was kind of stupid. Oh, now the last season, I, yeah, okay, it was there. But yeah. that first season with Double Fuck and the nigga who played Magic, he should have won an Emmy or something off that shit. <laughs> you know what I think? It was good. My man, Trayvon, um, who I did the movie with, uh, he wrote on it. So the, the first season was 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 okay, and the show just kind of lost itself. Yeah. Damn. Kansas City Chiefs Parade, one person lost their life. Mm, one was, was injured in the shooting. Like, if all y'all for the same team, who the fuck are you? Some, what they were some, arguing young, about. some young boys is arguing and one pull out the strap. Start shooting. Man, cut that Taylor Swift shit off. <laughs> <laughs> we got to shit. That's what it was about? Uh, nah, I don't, they, that wasn't about. They leaked the video. I saw the shit. I, Man, the I, can't spe- I can't speak on it. I can't speak on it, but that's how it started. Justin Fields had unfollowed the Bears. Who is Nick's team, man? They say saying the, Steelers, man. They saying the Steelers. Steelers are the favorite. Bears, Falcons, or Patriots. Y'all want him in Atlanta? They want him in. They definitely yeah. want him here for sure. Yeah, come to Atlanta. He's from here, so. And show what the Georgia Bulldogs did wrong. They stupid. Old. But I can see him in Steelers. I think that'll be a good too for him. under Mike Tomlin. Yeah, I will want to see him with. Well, shit, Falcon got a black coach. He could come in too. Derrick Henry uh, is a free agent. They say the Cowboys and the Texans looking at Derrick Henry. This is a big free agency year, man. Um, if the Cowboys get Derrick Henry, they'll still be ass. So. Yeah, it it's, really it's not going to change your motherfucking thing. It's not going to change, change, <laughs> <move. thing. laughs> like, change your motherfucking thing. I ain't going to lie. That nigga tricked me then. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, like, like going to give a nigga some props? <laughs> <laughs> nigga tricked me, man. But uh, I think the Chiefs need to re-sign Jones and Snead as soon as possible because them boys can play on defense for sure. The thing about the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl this year is that this was a very flawed Chiefs team to yeah. go and win yes. the Super Bowl, bro. This the one that you win. When you win this one, you know you're a dynasty because this is the one you're not supposed to win. Like all dynasty teams have that, that off one year. year. Yeah, yeah. That off year where things not really coming together, but they still win. Cause they don't they don't have a true number one. No. They if they get another receiver for him to pair up with. Any receiver. Any receiver. You're talking about uh Mike Evans potentially. Ooh. That would be ridiculous. That yeah, wouldn't be free agent it, see that's what I'm saying. Like Pat Mahomes is so good. I don't feel like he need if he get anybody like that, you're gonna be like, man, that's too easy, man. Well, you had that. With Tyreek? Yeah, Tyreek. But still, Tyreek was, Tyreek wasn't a, a big target. Yeah. Like, so Tyreek, now go get Tyreek a world class athlete. Just take the we top off that. the defense. Take the top, but it was just somebody that Pat Mahomes. Because mm-hmm. if you have somebody like that, right, who can run but is a big possession receiver, bro, low key already, Mike Evans is one of the 10 or 15. 15 greatest receivers of all time. Hall of Fame. Like, sure. like, like, oh, yeah, okay. all them okay. thousand. If you look at it, the, the touchdown catches, he only 30 years old, 30, 31. The touchdown catches, a thousand yard seasons, he's he's already put together. You put him with Patrick Mahomes, he's going to fin- finish his career a top tier receiver. Bro. If he stay healthy, a, yeah. If he stay yeah. healthy, of course. I could go for that. And he got a ring. Already. Got yeah. a ring. He's already. He's already. Played with Brady. Bro. Played with Brady. And he played with that, like, he be. Cut. He be going at y'all Saints like crazy. We fighting yeah, everybody. Be going with the Saints, trying to fuck over the Saints. Hey, what you think about Jameis Winston since you're a Saints fan? Love him. <laughs> love him. So that shit he did against the Falcons, you love that shit. Love him, bro. Everybody else, the mascot of the team is somewhere else. Our mascot is in the quarterback room. Like Jameis Winston, bro, you can't help but to love him. I only wish that he was actually our starting quarterback. 
I wish he was our starting quarterback. I really do. He didn't play bad, though. Yeah, they don't fuck with Derrick Carr. Bad. Like nah, I don't fuck with Derrick Carr. You spend all that goddamn money for five-yard passes every time down the field, check it down every time you come down the he field. He don't even look down the field. Nah. I mean, we play a little bit better towards the end of the year. I love Jameis Winston. I think that type of glue and culture guy that the team can rally behind, I think that's underrated in sports, especially in football. He is basically like the Udonis Haslam mm. of the Saints right now. He's the leader of the team. He's the leader of the team. And I just like a throw it off Southern Alabama. And that's that's what I grew up around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like grew, you feel like we got an uncle like that. A yeah, like that. I like that. All Bruh. these polished ass guys saying the right thing. Nah. Yeah. I like a nigga that just say some dumb shit. Bro, everybody have an uncle or cousin that just do some shit like, because even like, we would go to my grandma's house, bro, and everybody knew like certain shit you couldn't do or some shit mm -hmm. like, you know what I mean? Like, man, put the liquor down, cut the music down. You know what I'm saying? This <laughs> Man, I had one cousin that nigga, <clears throat> pull up in the yard, get out smelling like liquor. <laughs> and the going out and hug the shit out my grandma. <laughs> and, and the crazy thing is, that dude is always accepted from him. Yeah. It's like, it's always like, you took, like we had my cousin Brian, like, uh, rest in peace. Like, you cut the music down when he come, it's like, ah, drink a little bit of this, Momo. Come on, Momo, drink a little bit of this. I'm like, you just told me to cut Matlock down. This nigga trying to get you to drink. Yeah. <laughs> and they smile and play like, he ain't got no sense. You know better. <laughs> that nigga, he, a nigga go for that. <laughs> How your podcast going? How you learning? Fantastic, bro. Ringer, Spotify, Network, me and Rachel Lindsay. Mm -hmm. Y'all be fucking with my shit? Nah, y'all don't listen yeah, to my man. shit. That <laughs> I've, seen clip, I've seen clips. Yeah, that nigga looked at me like, nah, nigga, I'm gonna listen to all that. Nah, we fought with the clips, though, for real. <laughs> <laughs> I fought with the group. Uh, I might have oh, no, reshared re them. Yeah, sure. it's like it's it's great though, man. We talk about a lot of different shit. It's nothing we can't talk about. So that's right. Great. So it's like, man, you know what? Like, well, I think you you've been like the most respected in in that in that feel in that world. It's like when you your time when you was on that show. I don't know if you still. Nah, that's fucking go ahead. Yeah, TMZ. Oh, TMZ. Yeah. When you was on that show, man. When you got them said that shit to Kanye West, bro. <laughs> do a lot of people remind you of that? Bro, I was but in, it was just you being you, but you probably didn't realize. Bro, I was in the airport, uh -huh. maybe like, uh, where, I, where was I going? I was going to New York maybe like two, three weeks ago, going through American. I'm going through American, and I'm looking around at the people in the in the airport, the TSA and everybody, and they looking at me, they looking at me, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then the TSA people look at me and go, yo, Kanye was just fucking here, bro. You just missed him. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you want me to whoop the nigga ass? Like, what, like, what, like, what, 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 what else y'all want? What, what y'all want? Like, it's like, you just miss him. One of the girls was like, yo, if you hurry, you can still catch him. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, what you talking Bitch, about? Bitch, I'm not following that nigga. Yeah, I know, that's crazy. Like, what, like, what is going on here? Like, nah, okay, cool. But it's all, I always get love for it because I think nah, that, um, for real. And that's a very important moment in my career. I think that's one of the moments, everybody, if you're on mic enough, you're going to have that moment where you're saying something that somebody else would want to say, but they don't have the opportunity mm -hmm. to. And that's how you make... That way everybody like, yeah. yeah. Hey, was it... What, did they say something? Was it backlash in, uh, around the office? Nah, not at all. That's cool then. Nah, that's cool. Like, I came back. I came back in the office. Harvey was fake acting like he was emotional. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, so glad we have you, man. Blah, blah, blah. Nigga, fire my Man, get the ass fuck out my face, A man. year later. You know what I mean? But what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that, nah, it was nobody. It was good TV. Yeah. Good TV. Whatever it is, like, whatever. But you weren't even thinking. You just being, you like, yeah. bro, you tripping. Yeah, that wasn't, it wasn't nothing that was, because I didn't even know he was going to be there. Like, he, they only told me, like, 10 minutes before he got there mm. that he was coming. Mm. So he got up there. He, he, bro, I'm, look, I think hating on Ye or, or even being mad at, because there's no way to even, at this point, there's no way to even have a good opinion on it. Mm -hmm. Cause there's no consistency to whatever he gonna do. Right. One day he gonna Erratic. one day he gonna be cool. Uh, Friday he gonna be a Nazi. So it don't even make no sense to talk about it. But what I will say is he was sweet as fuck. Cameras came on, lost his fucking mind. Whole shit happened. Cameras went off. Sweet as fuck again left. So like leaving you confused as a mug. I'm like, yo, what's going on? <laughs> you called me that night. Damn, for real? Yeah, called me that night, invited me to Calabasas, said, come out there and like come out there and chill and do all that shit. I didn't go. 
But my girl. I ain't gonna lie, I had to go out and pull up on that crane. <laughs> <laughs> bro, what you what the fuck out with all that shit about, man? Uh. Bro, what you man, like, what's up with you? What that shit you smoking out here, man? I gotta see it. Like for <laughs> I real. See. I gotta be right here to see it, man. Who you got winning the uh, NBA championship? Damn, that's a good question, bro. Obviously, it would be hard not to say Boston right now. Mm. Just because yeah. top to bottom, Boston is the most complete team. But it's still some about them I don't like. I can't put my hand, my, my finger on it. It's still some about the, the Celtics I don't like. Something that well, just, you're a Laker fan, so I know that's true. But like, what I mean is just from a, a, a just a, a view of the team. You think it's Tatum? You think it's Jason Tatum? Light skin hate. I'm not going for that. No, 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 bro. Tatum or Hooper? Tatum or Hooper? Let me ask you a question. Who do you think we think Tatum is? I think people think Tatum is up there with Luca. I think people think Tatum is up there with. I don't even think Tatum is better than Devin Booker. Cap. To be nah, honest with you. Cap. Nah, bro. I'm, I've been watching these games. I don't offensively know. Yeah, not not Devin Booker is a score, but I'm saying when you say an overall player, I don't know. It's, I would go with Tatum. Bro. I don't think it's that. I don't think quick. Jason don't Tatum think is, is better than Devin Booker. I do. I don't. I don't know, bro. Watching D Book hoop and Tatum hoop is I, I, in an ISO scoring situation. I don't think that he is, but as an overall player, I definitely. Yeah, that's what I agree. Okay. Um, I just don't think Tatum is. So who do you put him with, Don? That's what. What you, you mean? Like what? What tier do you put him with? Like. What player would you be like, okay, this is this what Jason Tatum with, with these kind of guys? Brandon Ingram. Shut the fuck. Damn. Hey, man, no. 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 Marcel, <laughs> you argue with that nigga, bro. Y'all acting like Brandon Ingram. No, Brandon Ingram, cool. That's not a diss to be all. It's not. But he's not at all, but bro. Brandon Ingram never been in the MVP conversation. Yeah, bro. He has been in his career. His team ain't been shit. Tatum been on a winning team every single season he been in the NBA. No, it ain't because of him. <laughs> it ain't because of though? him. He got a squad, bro. Every year he got a squad. He got another all star he playing with. You agree? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, real quick. And bro, for the that, record, bro, B.I. is not no. B. No, B.I. cool. B.I. He more than cool. B.I. elite, bro. He's bro, an okay. elite right. player. All right, so th th this, is the, this is the problem. The problem <laughs> is, is no way to have this conversation when I was. Sounding like you fucking over Brandon Ingram, and I don't want to do that. I'm not, bro. I but think Brandon Ingram right, is like that. I with, think Brandon Ingram is With the is amount bold. of success that Jason Tatum has had in his career, been to the NBA Finals, a perennial all-star, all of that, there is no fucking way every, any Celtics fan in the world would be disappointed by hearing that he's on the same level. Brandon Ingram hasn't accomplished close to Brandon Ingram not even the best player on this damn team. That's he cap. is right now. What? Come on, bro. Man, I still he take right fat now. ass on with <laughs> No way. Give me fat ass on. <laughs> no way. Cause, 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 let me ask you this. Do you think that Brandon Ingram could be the best player on a championship team? No. So that's you, why so his you, ass ain't in LA. So you saying that that's definitely true about Jason? You don't think Jason Taylor could be the best player on a championship team? Uh, he could be, but he's not. Don't. I never knew you felt this way, but <laughs> oh, I love I love basketball. Period. I, I know just, you do. I'm That's just why saying it's just what I feel. To me. I don't think I don't think Jason Tatum is what we think want him to be or what he we think he is. Bro, Tatum go crazy. Even Stephen A. has he said Jason Tatum is leading candidate for MVP right now. Yeah, that he was said that like we never heard How? Brandon Ingram name in the How? MVP. he's just on Thanks. the best Help. team. So I think the MVP should be Jalen Brunson. But it, but like it, that's not a bad. Thing. I'm not mad at that. Oh, Shea, I would say Shea, I would say Brunson Shea, Shea, Shea. Shea. I would say Brunson and Shea. Now that's hey, that's who cold is a motherfucker. He is my Shea favorite is player like to that. watch, bro. Shea is definitely. Hey, like now that. I ain't gonna lie. That's how I know they know basketball. They 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 put me on Shea. Oh, for real? Yeah, them and uh, shout out to Vincent Brown. They put me on Shea because it was an argument at the time where they were saying Shea was better than Ja Morant, and I'm hell no. Nah. The more I start watching Shay, I was like, boy, I was stupid as hell arguing that I shit. Still, I still, I can't disrespect Ja. Ja still that nigga. It's not disrespecting him, but like what Shay do is like. Shay better than Ja Morant, though. I mean, Ja Morant is obviously, it's not he out the conversation. Yeah, yet. I still take Ja Morant over Shay, but like watching him, Ja Morant mm, just going. I can't call that one. Ja Morant going to fly over I mean, your my thing ass. is this with, with Shay is to me, that type of efficiency, now he ain't going to pass that hoe. 
But like that, he type, does. He averaged like five, five or six, six. Yeah, he, 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 he ain't gonna go to free through line. Yeah, he that type of efficiency and stuff like that. Come playoff time, that's gonna be very valuable. What I look at in terms of my guy that I compare Shea to all the time is your guy. I set Twitter on fire one time. I just like to fuck with people on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just like to get on Twitter. Everybody, everybody's so mad about everything all the time. Yeah. I just go on Twitter and say dumb shit. Like who y'all love more, Jesus or Moses? And just watch people just go crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, just, you know, just put a photo up. <laughs> Which one of these guys is the MVP of the Bible? You know what I'm saying? Just like, <laughs> how could you ask this question? How could you ask this question? I'm not going to lie. I do think it's Moses, though. You know what I'm saying? So look, but in, 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 in this, what? like, that's what people do. They get so mad when you ask any question. Like, um, but I, my question was this. I was like, who's better, Shay or Ant? Like, who would you rather have? Shay. Shay or Ant? I'm going. That's a, that's a tough question. So that's a good. That's Shea a good. Control. That's a good debate. That's those a good are two. Debate. Those are the two guys I really feel like. They have a kind of a not. They don't have a similar game, but they have a similar posture in the league. They're gonna be going head up for a long, long time. And they already started like yeah, a little rivalry and whatnot. So, but Shea will, will cook you up then have do a little rap verse Shea about you in, in, in Instagram. Mother, motherfucking blender. But look, tell them back on this. I would put Tatum with, and see the reason why when you drop down to BI, I would put Tatum with the like Devin Booker. I don't see where else you could put him, but I think he's better than Devin Booker. But I'm saying at, at, at this point in his career, was he 26? Yeah, 26. At this point in his career, he's moving into his uh, his prime NBA years, which is that 27, 28, 29. Where you, if Jason Tatum is not a ace. On a championship team, he's underperforming. Because by this point, he's had enough of everything that you need. He's had enough support. Like there's no excuses. Zero. He's had enough playoff experience. He's had enough of all of it. He's got to be the he guy. He never missed the playoffs. 25. He's, he's, he's 25. 25. Come he on. turned 26 hey, in March. Dom, he turned 26 Devin in March. Devin Booker ain't won. Tatum ain't won either. But I'm saying Devin Booker, he was up 2 0 over Milwaukee. Devin Booker. Came into the league first, what, six seasons, worst team in the league. Tatum has won, been in the playoffs every single year. He's been a top four team every year he's been in the league. So it's his fault that his team in the season. I didn't say it was nobody's fault. You asked me who was better, who I compare him to. That's who I compare him to. Can't be, can't be real with you, though? What? It is his fault. And let me tell you why. I, um, is in, any player that's the number one, that's the number one player on the NBA team, it's your fault. The NBA is a very simple game when you're looking at greatness. And I hate to just put it in binary terms like this. It's literally two classes of niggas. It's the niggas who can do it and the niggas who can't. That's it. But Devin Booker... What? I'm saying, I'm not talking... I'm not even much talking about Devin Booker. Like, Devin Booker is in that... Until you a nigga that can... Oh, uh, yeah, put him in the same motherfucking until, until you mode. a nigga in the NBA, until you Bro. a nigga that can, you a nigga who can't. Okay. And, and it's some great players... Chris Paul. Like some great players that just they they not you a nigga who can or you a nigga who can't. That's who, what it who is. Who won last year? Nuggets. The Nuggets. The Nuggets. They beat uh Miami. Miami. Right. The eighth seed heat. So you got the Nuggets. Celtics. So on that team, Joe Joker the reason why they won that ring, right? He's a he's a motherfucker. I'm not gonna give yeah, him yeah. a nigga. But he he can't. Jamal Murray went crazy though. Aaron Gordon, all them niggas played great. But they Joker played great the because best of him. But yeah. Far. But yeah. now if you, how y'all talking? So if you thinking like that, Aaron Gordon, he better than Tate. No. no. See, you can play. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm doing just... You're doing the barbershop shit. No. You're, like, you're, you're doing the barbershop no, shit. No, I'm just trying like, to make sure you, I'm not wrong. You're comparing players on different tiers. All right. Right? So if you're if you're comparing, you you wouldn't compare Aaron Gordon to Jason Tatum because they're not on the same tier. Okay. But you would compare guys on the same tier. Right now, what you would say is, is Jokic better than Jason Tatum? Yeah. He's, he's the number one guy on the championship team. No two different type of players, man. Nah, not really. They are, but at the same time, I'm talking about... This, this is what I mean when I say this. I'm talking about how you facilitate winning. Mm -hmm. When you look at how Michael Jordan facilitated winning by scoring, playing defense, and beating the shit out of his teammates with them hands when they fucked up. You fuck up, I punch you dead in your shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He like, what's y'all nigga around here? Joe. 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 <laughs> like, like, he, like, he like Joe, right? How you facilitate winning? 
Jokic facilitates winning by just filling up the entire stat, st stat sheet and being the reason why the team, why the offense works. So if you Jason Tatum or Devin Booker or whomever you're going to be, you got to figure out how, why you're going to be the reason that your team wins. Kobe did it like Jordan. Shaq did it like Chamberlain. You know what I'm saying? But, like, you have to be the reason why your team wins. So before Denver, who it was? Milwaukee? It was Golden State. Denver, Golden State. Denver, Golden State. That's Curry. So, Curry. A nigga who can. And before Golden State was Milwaukee. Right. That was a little lucky, but still, uh, Giannis put himself in that situation. And the reason why he fit, think about 50 in the closeout game. Yeah. That's that's unheard of. Yeah. But I'm just saying, man, let's let's get Tatum on. E25. <laughs> and you know, I don't know. not that much older. Y'all see, man, this this just growth in in the field of this where we have to just start. We can't be biased. Because I always was saying Jalen Brown was the best player on that team. But the more I started watching, I was wrong. He's not the best. He's my favorite player on that team. He's That's the most consistent, was. though. Yeah. You know what you're going to get from Jalen Brown. Both ends of the ball. Yeah. They're yeah. going to play long lock up the best player. Who your favorite player in the league, though? Kevin Durant. And he playing with Booker. Now, Tatum was on that damn team. <laughs> Them niggas probably be 82 and 0 when the goddamn season over with. What you mean with KD and Tatum on the same team? Yeah. Who running point guard? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, know, bro. I don't know. Bill at the point. <laughs> bro. But to say Brandon Ingram, that's crazy. I don't think that's that crazy, bro. <laughs> Brandon Ingram is elite, bro. He's better I'm than Brandon Ingram. Do no, no, I, I don't think you could call Brandon Ingram elite, bro. <laughs> Why? That's not he's, cool. he's, a, he's been an all he's star. Elite. He's, he's been an all star. He's elite, bro. He Man, did you hear what he said? He's been an all star. Motherfuckers who elite stay an all star. <laughs> Ain't no been an all star. So right now, Brandon Ingram, these are not bad numbers at all. At all. I'm not comparing numbers. I said 21, game. 5, and 6. I said game. Oh, them pretty cool. What's Tatum, That's not Tatum bad average at what? 24? 27, 8, and 4. He having 27, 8, and 4? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, nigga, that don't don't try to say. <laughs> still, bro, you made like still, like you're close. Still, like I, that's who Gant, that's who I compare him to. I think twenty seven close is a better close player. Fuck the thirty. Twenty one is twenty. In career, uh, uh, Brandon's nineteen five and four in his career. Tatum's twenty three seven and three in his career. All I'm saying, mm -hmm. y'all ask me who game I compare. Yeah, him I to. can't be mad at you because that's who you say. Yeah. But I can't say I think I don't... Tatum is better than B.I. Hell yeah. Oh, but okay. I don't think Tatum is a... I say I don't think Tatum is a top five. Player. Do you think he's a superstar? Tatum? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, nigga. You, know, this. you just don't you, feel like... Let me, ask you this. Dude, let me ask you this. If you took B.I. and you put him on the Celtics... Oh, shit. <laughs> you mean the Celtics is nice, bro. They nice as shit. I'm, shit. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Would they be better or worse? Worse. They wouldn't be better. No, they wouldn't be better. I, bro, Tatum's still better than B.I. I'm just saying, oh. that's who I compare him to. I don't who you compare him to, Marcel? Who, Tatum? Yeah. He ain't Kobe. He damn sure ain't Kobe. That's, that's what he, niggas that's what love to say. Like, that's yeah. what you feel like. He ain't Kobe. Hey, who who that they said that uh, they text Kobe? Was that Tatum? <laughs> that was yes, bro. <laughs> that lying motherfucker. <laughs> I, I'll never get you lying on Kobe, <laughs> They said, Kobe Tate, man, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, no, nah, it's we're going to see, though. This is going to be the year. Who you got, Greg? Who, who you put Tatum with? I agree. Bro, what I has Luca done? And you know Luca, one of my favorite players. But Luca ain't did shit night. either. Look, he, look what he do every night, bro. 73. Yes, bro. I mean, Luca did take a pretty fucked up team to the Western West Conference, Conference Finals. Finals. And he, didn't win. He did win, but but you know, like Luca, young guy, bro, Luca, Luca, bad motherfucker. Luca, they yeah, know. Luca like, teams don't be nowhere near good as them Celtics. That's true. Ever. That's true. They had Jalen Brunson. They let him go. And well, just, I, I will say this though. Here's the thing about Luca. Luca is one of those guys that if you ask me. He's sneaky hard to play with. Luca is gone. People will always say this 
the the most I ever got criticized was like my take on the fact that it's kind of hard to play with LeBron James. Is 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 they control the entire game? Yeah, it's kind of hard to and play. And they be with. scared to play. Is that's the thing? Mm -hmm. Those two things. Number one, when you play with LeBron James, the pressure is ratcheted all the way up, right? So you like you, every mistake you make is exactly might be out of, you out of here, right? Yeah. Russell Westbrook. And then not only that, but just on the basketball court, he's got to have the ball a lot. He's got to get this many points to feel good about his game. It's going to be a lot of standing in the corner for you waiting for the ball. So Luka is kind of the same way. So you got to have the right players around Luka. Um, that's why the Kyrie thing ultimately is not going to work. Talking about with Kyrie? With Kyrie, that's why. I, I think it's it anywhere work. Kyrie go, though. What you saying now? I think it's anywhere Kyrie go. Anywhere Kyrie go, it's not going to work? Yeah, it ain't going to work. You don't fuck with him. That's what it's looking Ooh, like. Oh, Kyrie, my, one of my favorite players. Yeah. It's because of the team. It would have worked if he didn't get hurt. In Brooklyn. Against who? Yeah. But this is why, why I say it ain't going to work with Kyrie. These motherfuckers be putting their feelings into shit so much like, damn, Kyrie don't want to hang with... Fuck hanging. <laughs> you don't hang with all your co-workers? Just work. You niggas talking about, we 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 can't find a bond. We can't make a bond. Nigga, you don't need a bond with a nigga Ch you work but with. But championship teams find that bond. No, the That's fuck the they don't. Yes, they do. If you Man, talk about any championship team, they hanging out. You think about the, they, they, you think about out, the they, old they days when them niggas had to ride buses to the next city and shit. They ain't got no choice but to be on the same bus. If all of us got private planes and cars and shit, <laughs> what the fuck I get? I ain't getting your but shit. Just think about how different sports is, though. Think about, like, just think about the fact that these niggas literally high-five each other, like, 15 times a minute. Just everything you think about that, like niggas high five about everything. So I think the high five is going too far. <laughs> like I like I, like I watch the games, like bro, like, bro, like I watch the games and niggas come on the court, they high five. They turn the ball over, high five. They make a shot, they high five. At the free throw line, Man, you the whispering throw line, in the nigga, yeah, man, get the fuck high five. Damn bro, line. You ain't got to high five a nigga that yeah. many times. So if you high five a nigga sixty five times in the game, and then the game end, and you ask him if you want to go to Ruth's Chris. And he say no, you're gonna be like, but bro, we was just high fiving, man. Like, what's going on? That's that what I'm saying. They being that, like, bro, this is why I say that bun shit don't matter. Joker like horses. Ain't a nigga <laughs> on Denver, ain't a nigga on Denver said they went out there and rolled horses. Aaron and, Gordon was out there this He summer, a different bro. type of nigga. <laughs> what you mean? He did. <laughs> Bruh, that's one nigga. So it's all right. He got Peyton two, Watson in commercials. Like they them cool, only two bro. niggas on with but a they bond. They cool. They hang out, bro. So they who said they need them. the bond? They say who said they need the bond with Kyrie? Kyrie is a little <laughs> difficult. He different, bro. He different to man. Bond LeBron with. can't even bond with him, and they won the championship. They had a handshake, bro. LeBron got a handshake with any nigga. <laughs> LeBron get a trainer's handshake. He, he, like he said, they throw them handshakes around. I don't care. Too many. And when LeBron trades your ass, Too many, he'll, give you, he'll give another nigga your handshake. <laughs> and that's why a nigga be watching mad as fuck. Like, man, that's the shit me and him used to <laughs> So don't, don't get caught up in that shit. My favorite clip is the time that they asked Kyrie if LeBron was like a father to him. That was crazy. <laughs> Bro, that was shit was funny. Carrie almost insane. snapped about that. Bro, it was like, white what? people be trying to play with you. Oh yeah. yeah, like I ain't got no motherfucking daddy. This nigga ain't my daddy, nigga. Who the fuck you talking to? I got a father. You think like a father? Oh, what the fuck? LeBron's so smart. LeBron probably told him to ask that. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Man, go, go ask that nigga. I'm like a dad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say I said it. Go just yeah, ask. See what he say. It's a little. Yeah, it's a little hundred dollars. Go ask him. Man, we got a top dog versus underdog segment. So with this, I'm going to name a foot. You watch sport movies too, don't you? Yeah. Football movie. What's your favorite football movie of all time? Friday Night Lights. All time. All time. I like it. What'd you say? I'm, I'm right there. Friday Night Lights for sure. Over Remember the Titans? Any yeah, given Sunday for, sure. for me. Any given Sunday. I could go for that. But Remember oh, damn, the Titans? That's a good one, bro. Remember the Titans, y'all? Yeah. Nigga, that stop racing. Oh, let me let me let me tell you something real quick. I gotta say a shout out. I'm producing a movie right now, once again, for the very first time. The director, everybody got to see the movie. It's about, got, about to come out. We're about to take it all over festivals. The director of my movie that I'm producing, Boy Shaquin, he directed Remember the Titans. Yeah, so what's the name of the movie? Once again for the very first time. Once again movie. for the very first time. New movie we're producing. So he made the movie and he does not like it that much, but I like, like he, is, <laughs> he don't like what? He's not the biggest fan of Remember the Titans. For real? Why? 
<laughs> oh, yeah, but you really can't, yeah. No, no, he just said, it's like, it's not the type, he like to make art type movies. Oh, okay, and okay. So whatever, but I love Remember the Titans. Hell yeah. Well, Friday Night Lights just, man, that, that shit just dude. means something Booby, to me. Booby, like Miles, like. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I remember, hey, the remember the time. was different. What's your top basketball movie? Above the Rim. Fire. Okay. Damn, bro. This nigga come... See, bro, he making me rethink my own shit. Yeah, that's why I don't he let, like that that's shit. Why he let you first next time. That's why he let you choose first. He's yeah, straight. he making me rethink... Because he put... What, what was your football one? That's a great one. Those are the, and those, it's a sleeper too. And it's a sleeper. Those would be the other two. Yeah. Them is good films though. Like regardless yeah. of like yeah. being about sports. Mine was Sunset yeah. Park. Yeah, oh, I probably don't remember that shit. Baseball movie, don't. Baseball. You say hardball. Greg say hardball. They be like angels in the outfield. Man, that Fire. bullshit. Yeah, that shit was great. That shit was good. Yeah. Hardball is cool. The Sandlot. The Sandlot. I I can't hard, hardball. Hardball is fire. Hardball is fire, bro. But a hardball, man, I did the funniest shit. I sat my girl down to watch Hardball. <laughs> and I did not tell her that this little nigga was going to end up with a hole in it. Oh, oh man. man. Bro, so you should have seen the look on her face. She watching the movie. She like, I know he ain't dead. I'm like, man, that nigga up there with Tupac. <laughs> she like, nah, cut this shit the fuck. Oh, that, that is the saddest yeah. Bro, fucking shit that's that ever shit, happened in the just movie. Just listening, it brought thought. Like, right, that shit do make you guys. Rest in peace, G Baby. Bro. G Baby right. didn't deserve that shit, man. <laughs> My baseball movie, uh, y'all probably don't even remember this shit, man. It's when the girls were playing baseball. League of Their Own. League of Their Own. That's a good that's, ass that's movie. That's a good ass movie. They had underdog. Rosie O'Donnell in that shit. That shit was fire. Uh, they had some Tom Madonna, Hanks. Gina Tom Davis. Hanks, yeah. Tom Hanks, yeah, that's a good one. Dang, you ain't never seen that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga shaking their head. That nigga like, I never seen it. I never said I seen that fucking shit. It's yeah, it's a really good movie. All right, damn. So some of that was my hard. baseball movie is uh, damn. It's either two. These are some white ones. Either the Natural. I ain't never seen that. Have seen the Natural? Or y'all see uh, uh, Field of Dreams? Field of Dreams. Oh, I forgot Costa. one. What's the wild thing? Uh, with My, wild Major thing? League. Major League. Major League. That shit was that's, good. That's a good motherfucker. One, with that's Wesley Snipes used to goddamn. Willie Mays Hayes. Hayes. Willie Mays Hayes. Yeah. Bro. Nah. Y'all seen Mr. 3000? Bernie. Bro, you, he just be wanting somebody to say something rude, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I fuck with Jackie Robinson. That movie was boring as a hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mr. 3000 was pretty good. Though. Yeah, Mr. 3000 was cool, yeah. yeah. What's the shit? Some of them want, we already named some underdog, the underdog football movie that people don't talk about a lot. Oh, I got one, bro. Who? Necessary Roughness. I ain't never seen that. Uh -huh. Who's that in that? So, necessary, it's got Sinbad in it, it's got Scott back. So, what happens in Necessary Roughness I've seen is that. they, uh, the, the college football team gets in trouble mm -hmm. and then they just destroy it. The, they, they get the death penalty, like what happened to SMU, the college football team. And then they have to field a new college football team just based off the regular players that's in I the school. Mm -hmm. Like 93 or 94, this old nigga shit. Very funny movie. Sinbad. Sinbad was, yeah. They mm -hmm. had a green jerseys. Was it jerseys? Green green? jerseys yep. in there. It was in Texas. Yep. I'll say uh, Varsity Blues or Varsity uh, The Replacements. Good. I used to The Replacements, replacements is good. good. Um, mine would be movies. The Program. The Program oh, is crazy. Oh, y'all fucking over. That's, yeah, that's program's crazy. The Program is really good, mm. underdog. Football film that a lot of people don't know about. Shit. Hey, have y'all seen Snoop new movie, uh, Underdog? I haven't seen I, it. I thought that it was, shit yeah, good. It's a lot of cursing. It. In, oh, it's yeah, a lot of cursing. Crazy. I want to see it. Well, it, it cursing good. all through that motherfucker. It was good. My I kids just love my, that I shit. I show my daughter a little giant. She fuck with a little giant. Little giant. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's about right. Icebox. Well, we don't have some good ass movies when we can. 90s, bro. It's fire. Underdog basketball. Yeah, better soundtrack. We had better music, period. Man, these motherfuckers don't rap long on songs. You know what song I do like? I do like the Boss Man d -Lo shit. I was bad at fucking school. But that shit, one verse. <laughs> you ever you Didn't Boss Man, Boss Man d -Lo was recently involved in something, right? Something happened on Twitter? Oh, with him and Tia Kemp. Yeah. Tia Kemp funny as hell. She, hey. Tia she Kemp. funny as a motherfucker. Bro, it's like, she funny as hell, bro. Hey, it's some people you don't fuck with, man. A Florida female. They don't give a fuck what they say, dog. Mm -hmm. She's talking about, 
Dog, he talking about I tried to. Man, dog, what clubhouse? This nigga talking to me on clubhouse? Mm-hmm. Put me on clubhouse, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> man, she they said she the one who leaked this little video. But it's just like it the era we in, I think I man, social media gonna make shit. We can't appreciate shit. For real. What you mean? And when I say this, we can't appreciate just like you know how you would hear stories and you be like, you don't you wonder was it true or not? You know it's true. These motherfuckers, these motherfuckers put they putting the receipts out. Like, God damn. <laughs> Them motherfuckers be having receipts from when it started. Like they knew. They were gonna fall out with a motherfucker. Is that's so crazy <laughs> to me, bro? That's so crazy to me. Like, I, I be mad at people, yeah, and I be forgetting why I'm mad at people. Nobody forgets why they're mad at people no more. They like, yo, yeah. man, this motherfucker <laughs> fucked over me. And let me tell you, this happened October thirty first, the twenty twenty one. Boom! Yes. It's crazy. Right. It's like it's 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 you can't trust everybody sending voice notes. Every time I send a voice note to somebody because I don't want to text it. Cause I don't want them having a the text. That's what I do. I, that's the same shit. But they be I do. slick keeping them. And every time I see, <laughs> bro, every now, it time, writes, now it writes it out. Every time it says, yeah. "Hey, voice note kept," I'm like, "Yo, why are you keeping my yeah. shit, bro? You building That'll a file?" That'll make me leave a group chat. <laughs> Real talk. It, 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 it all be one person in there that be like got it automatically kept on. We'll tell like, man, turn that shit off. What the fuck you want? <laughs> Cause we say reckless shit, and you know I say reckless shit. Reckless shit. <laughs> Speaking of reckless shit, we got some reckless comments. We be reading our comments, man. They they be saying some bullshit, but sometimes they say some good shit. <laughs> Bad burner account. Fuck broken plays. LOL. <laughs> That's you? <laughs> Why a nigga would name himself Thad Burner Account? <laughs> and then it can't be Thad. Thad know how to uh, right, English. Then nigga said, "Fuck broken plays." <laughs> nigga put an S on it. Garlicky said, "How many times you been out your state before I say appreciate you?" Oh, they all responded to another comment. <laughs> Mon recaps thirty one said, "Y'all got to keep the prize picks going, man. We deserve a forty two and wings episode. Baseball about to start too, so we be doing the prize picks and we do our picks like on the episode." Okay. We don't win. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we won one We're time. We're going to have to switch it up. And that's why we had it 42. Right. So when we win, we, we got them get wins in 42. But y'all don't win that much. We No, we only one, won once. One <laughs> that nigga said not that much. We only it won was once. A, it was the last show. So we had to celebrate the next this season. How many episodes have been in this season two? 25. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Boy. Horrible John shit. Starks in this motherfucker. <laughs> hey, shooters keep shooting. Mm-hmm. Young Stick said, them boys just making donations to prize picks at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these motherfuckers don't care what they say, man. It's a fact. Chris Faison 90 said, man, another great show in the books. Y'all got to take this shit on the road and do this live. Also, go live on IG and let us help y'all make y'all prize picks because y'all going down bad. <laughs> Man, Rick said, man, y'all so dope. I've been watching Broken Play more than anything else. Much love to you guys, Detroit in the building. Shout out to Broken Play. Shout out to you, my G. The one who is better than you, 3570, said, I can't wait until they talk about All-Star Weekend. It was shit to talk about. (laughs) Thomas Walker, 6940, said, love the show still here. This my shit. Also, Nav, your hilarious prize pick promo make me also, sign up. Keep going with y'all. Appreciate it, nigga. That's for prize picks. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't get no points off that shit. Appreciate it. But nah, them just come coming. We just like to keep the fans involved, and they fuck with the show and shit like that. And then Y'all fuck with Atlanta Sports Heavy on the show? We support Atlanta people. Yeah, it depends on who they is. Like why you say that? I mean y'all. I mean, is this like Falcons? Braves? Nah, I'm a Giants fan. Cowboys. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Cowboys. You're a Cowboys fan. We had we, some Falcon players done came. We we don't we don't win and did live shit with for the Hawks. Bud the Pre J came on the show a couple weeks ago. He played for the Falcons, and I did they uh the Atlanta Falcons podcast. But like far as they team, they got to get some better shit, bro. 
Like, just, I don't know. I miss that. I came up watching that Michael Vick era. Ah, uh, yeah. So it's like, bro. Because everybody make everything about a championship now. We didn't even realize Michael Vick when no one near about to make a win a championship. <laughs> but we was excited as fuck to go to a Falcons game. That Vikings game was all we needed. Yeah, when he did that shit. Nigga, you can't tell us shit. You ask somebody about Vic. Oh, man, when he split them defenders. Nigga gonna talk about it. Kept running to the locker room. I would never watch. I watched every single snap Vic took except when he played the Saints. Y'all had no idea how fucking frustrated it is to watch that nigga run all over your team. You can't do shit. He crazy, bro. What what you think about Lamar? Do you put Lamar in that Michael Vic space? Yeah, Vic was more electrifying for some reason that I can't put. My finger on. Yeah, because Lamar, oh, Lamar holds back his a little, that he, Vic part of was, him, I feel yeah, like. Vic was a smooth basketball. nigga. Yeah, Vic was smooth yeah. with that shit. I, I feel like Lamar Jackson is faster than Michael Vick. He is. Yeah. So, but Vic was a little bit more reckless. Mm -hmm. Like Vic. It, it, yeah, and how he Vic hold the ball. ball. Yeah. How Vic a hold that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, bitch? <laughs> right. <laughs> so, but Lamar, Lamar, um, Lamar is probably is like a better player. And yeah, he a little sharper. I, I don't know. Michael Vick, he, he, Lamar got better stuff around him. I don't. I don't but really know. Vick never. He said he never studied film. Like he was just out there, like Giannis, just playing. Yeah, they said shit. they. That's how they caught Vick. They gave him a blank disc. Nah, that, that was, was Russell. Russell. That was Russell. Oh, oh, oh yeah. shit, my bad. Yeah, that was, yeah. That go line. <laughs> Atlanta, bro. Like he no, was in no, Atlanta no. Went at the peak of bro, like shit. They found out Vick did something. He didn't study some shit though. Did they? Yeah, yeah, he's mentioned he didn't really yeah. watch film like that on the documentary. Yeah, he did it on his what's the name? Uh, I watched his um uh, thirty for thirty, but I don't know if it was the blank disc. I could be wrong about that, but it was something he didn't watch shit, and he lied and said he watched that <laughs> shit. Yeah. You be on prize picks, man? You, you, I don't really gamble that much. Yeah, smart bro. man. What, what bro. stopped you? Smart, bro. Like it, it, it for me, it's like. I don't know, bro. I I feel when you when you when you put the money down, I've I've gambled before, but when you put the money down and you don't win, you don't feel like played as a motherfucker. It's depressing for sure. It depends. I'm hurt. It's a it's a thrill of that shit. It is a man. thrill. I can't watch sports without having something on that shit. I'm just bad about stuff like that. Like I'm even bad about the strip club, you know? The strip club is a very interesting experience mm -hmm. for a true horny nigga. <laughs> like if you just regular <laughs> Then it's like whatever, <laughs> but like if you a true horny nigga, the strip club is a really interesting experience. That was you go a good in, take. You go into the club, you pay the money, you literally smell the put. I mean, it's right there. <laughs> Everything is there, and then you just go home. Go home. <laughs> like, like, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like you just, and, you, like, and, you, you, just, and you make blissful love to your wife. You you go home and you do the whole thing. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You 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 go and like you just the whole it's all there. That's then, the foreplay, man. I know she 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 treating you nice. The whole thing you see it, you smell it. Sometimes you touch it and then you just walk out the fucking. And I always get to the parking lot just like my my eyes just glazed over and it take me like a second to snap back into reality. Go home mm -hmm. to your old lady calling. Her. Oh, been at all it's over candy. <laughs> <laughs> candy. Oh no, I was just saying it was sweet like candy, some shit like that. I don't know. <laughs> But nah, but I, but the gambling thing now is, I feel like I'm I'm missing something. Everybody is doing it. Like no. my mama called me up, like no I got way. a parlay going. No like way. what the fuck is she talking about? Oh, no, no these women are bro, on that shit right now. You think bro. I'm joking? I, I go I go to the, I go I go home to go to the LSU game. I, I ask my mom. I'm like, yo, you want to come to the LSU game? She said, I'm too nervous. Like, what the fuck are you nervous about? Like, I don't say the fuck. Yeah. I'm like, what you nervous? <laughs> I'm like, like, what you nervous about? She's like, yo, I need I need them to hit the over here because I got a parlay going. I'm like, you got a what? That's amazing. She's like, yeah, your uncle showed me how to do a parlay, Bruh. and I got a parlay. Yeah. I'm like, what you, the hell? See, we need to flip flop. If my mama ever say said that shit, nigga, she couldn't get me to leave the house. She'll be around that motherfucker running it up. My mama don't gamble though. My dad do, but he don't gamble right. <laughs> like my dad, he if you talk shit, he just ready to gamble then. Like he don't need, he not even putting thoughts in his gambling. What it's just mean? he just going against you. At this, at, <laughs> what, what nigga bet? <laughs> like, nigga, that's a bad bet, nigga. 
the fuck are you betting? That, that ain't no good bet, nigga. Ain't no way Detroit gonna beat the Lakers straight up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> All because you mad because a nigga done tried some shit. <laughs> well, dog, nah, man, we do prize pick. So, I uh, damn, we gonna have you pick one. I'll pick, a little, let's see if I can break the streak. Okay. <laughs> shit, we hope so. What's the best live game you ever seen in person? Oh, shit. Or, or, or sporting event, period. The best live sporting event I ever seen in person. What a good question. I haven't thought about this before. Uh, there was, there's two games. There was a Clippers Spurs game in the playoffs from like 2014, 15, whatever kept going back and forth or whatever like that. But the best, I'll say this the best one I ever saw in person was LSU, Georgia, in Tiger Stadium in 2003. Matt Mark to Skylar Green at the end of the game. For LSU to win. Like, mm. that's the best I've ever felt. And you saw that live. I was there in Tiger Stadium. That's the best I ever felt at a sporting event. Then we go on to win the national championship. My homeboys was on the team. It was just different. Marcus Spears is on the team. Michael Clay. Shout on the out team. to Marcus Spears. Yeah, guys I know are on the team from Baton Rouge. Hard, and then yeah. we win. It just felt different. So, look, how that was that era, like when so many people from the state was going to the schools? You know what I'm saying? It was crazy. So, because before then, what people don't understand is Louisiana turns out so many. So many NFL players, so much mm -hmm. talent, so many good college players. In the 90s, it was very frustrating because you had uh, you had Marshall Falk um, go to, uh, like, San Diego State. Mm -hmm. You had... Yeah. Like, how the hell he get out there? <clears throat> you had... Sure. Well, some, some schools in the SEC didn't want him to play halfback. You had Cordell Stewart leave. You had all Colorado. these different guys mm -hmm. that are leaving and going to play, like, other places. Then LSU started keeping those guys at home. They keep... Spears at home, they keep Clayton at home, they keep all those guys at home, and then we up. So that was the that game with Nick Saban and them was the the culmination of that. That's the best I've ever felt in a sporting event. How do you feel about Brian Kelly as your head coach? I mean, I like him. You know, he got a lot to prove, but it is is what LSU really wanted more than anything was consistency, a consistent program because we'll be up have one of the greatest seasons ever, and then we'll be down for a couple of years and just be like nine and three, eight and four, whatever. But once he gets to that level of excellence, just want to see him consistently have that program that's in the national championship picture every single year. That's the thing. Well, I'm going to make the pick now. What's what's the pick? What do I say? Right. Uh, show, him, show him off your phone. Oh, We're going to do NBA. NBA? Because it's up. Thursday. Yeah, you can scroll over. It's Yeah. Season two? No, nah, keep going. Okay, got you. NBA. Uh, I'm going to take Jason Tatum. Rebounds and assists. More. 14. All right, we. Let all right, see. we. Let me see. Okay. I was going to say we both got that. I'm going to go Porzingis over, over 18 and a half. Points? Points? Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. Oh. So those are just popular. Yeah, scroll. Let... See, prize picks. Y'all got to up the money, nigga. We showing people how to work your shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What, Jesus? Oh, I'm going to take... You know what I'm going to take? What? I'm going to take Paulo over 20.5 points against, against Cleveland. Right. He getting 24-25 in that game for sure. Shoot. All right, Paulo. He got him. <laughs> what you got, Marcel? Uh, I'm not ready yet. What you got, Yvette or Greg? One of oh, shout out to Greg. Last week, Greg did a two, two pick on his own. And sure. Both of them hit. <laughs> Somebody said, man, y'all should have Greg do all the picks. Let's not get disrespectful. Motherfucking right. You're acting like I didn't win five. Like, no, Dom, Dom was the only one to hit last week. I pushed. The fuck I pushed with? 30.5. <laughs> yeah, I lost two there. You probably just did this wrong. Oh, good. Yeah. I mean, not good. He got hurt. Good. I didn't lose. So my it rebooted. All right, bet. Damn, the whole team lost. <laughs> they had... 
Yeah, I see what they talking about in the comments. Yeah. Yvette had Trey Young to go over 24 points. He had 19. Thad had John Collins over nine rebounds. He had seven. Reggie had Jalen Johnson to go over 15 and a half points. He had 13. Kyle Kuzma over 25 and a half points and assists. He had 23. This shit tough, boy. <laughs> yeah. Don was the only one to hit. <laughs> All right, I got mine. All right, what you got? I got France Wagner uh, over eight and a half rebounds and assists. Eight and a half rebounds. Is rebounds and assists combined? Yep. Okay. Well, who they playing? You got to get at least nine. Cleveland. Oh, they're playing the same, play same, same game. Same game, yeah, same game. So you Franz Wagner? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Who we missing? Greg, you had one? Yvette, you got one? I have Tyus Jones for over on points, 13.5. No, Who they play against? Um, they play Denver. I wouldn't trust that motherfucker. You don't want? Okay. Well, or, Jamal don't play defense. Like I, I was going to say, I hit up my homeboy who has been hitting on prize picks, and he said he likes the Wimby pick for over on three points. What is that? Uh, 1.5. Hell yeah. That's a good one. That's a better one. Shout out to Sage. And he done rest, rest it up. So we got we to gotta do an insurance play as well. Hello. We, uh, Thad, you got one? Yeah. We still show one. What you got? Right. You ain't learned your lesson. <laughs> Under what? Under what? Points? What is it? Wendell Carter. Okay. A lot of Orlando players. It feel like a good matchup. Maybe yeah. I'm wrong now. Under 18 and a half? Yeah. Okay, bet. So we're going to put 100, bring back 2,500. Man, looking like it. That's what y'all be trying to win. <laughs> I'm fucking with it. Look, to me, is I know if I start, I'm not gonna be able to stop. Yeah. You know oh, that's saying? how. Yeah. That's I'm how just not good at the. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not good at the shit, bro. Like, like that one season with LSU, ran it all the way up, then went out and gambled for the rest of the time. My girl was like, "You gotta stop this. It's too much." How you feel about the quarterback y'all got now? You talk about Gary, Gary Nussmeier. Yeah. I think he good. I think good. Jaden Daniels, I think, gonna surprise a lot of people going to, who you think to the league. It's a good team that, to draft him. Who you yeah, think? who you think? For Jaden Daniels? Yeah. I think where he's where he's projected to go is probably the worst place for him. New England? Yeah. Yeah. Facts. Um just facts. like I think that's probably the worst place for him, just with how things are going right there. Uh I think he would be it would be so hard to watch, but I think he would be perfect for the Falcons. Mm. I like I like Gerard Mayo as the coach though. I do too. Yeah. You know what, man? Shout out. My uh my pastor said some real shit. Hell yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> shout out shout out E. Dewey Smith. So look, he was like a lot of people be saying, so he was like when the coach for Duke, uh Krzyzewski? No, no, no. The new coach. Shire. Who? Shire. I'm lying then. North Carolina coach. Hubert Davis. Hubert Davis. So he was like, when he got the team, they were like, they asked him about him being the black coach. He was like, uh, my wife is white. My wife is white. I don't see color. Crazy. And he was like, he, Gerard Mayo said, I'll be lying to you. Yeah. Because it's like, if you don't see color, how you know your wife white? You see color. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's some real shit. Right. You just don't let color affect your, your thought process. Right. So people got to start wording that shit right. I let it affect mine. <laughs> Explain, Out the brother. gate. It's going to affect Vote for everything black. It's going to affect mine, bro. Yeah. It's gonna... I would never have no white wife, though. You wouldn't? Hell no. Yeah. Fuck no. <laughs> Can't be... Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Because... Imagine him on Love is Blind or something. <laughs> He's like, oh, she white. Fuck it. Because... Cause, cause... Oh, I know I ain't never marrying no white one. So, you so, can keep this shit long. So let me, let, me, let me ask you this. Cause this is the thing, cause uh, I I make fun of people sometimes cause of the whole biracial thing. It's not a, I'm not trying to be a dick about it. It's just funny to me. It's just funny that you see that they just can't show no black families in the commercial. 
it's always a white dude, a, Night white. a, a black woman, and then three little Drake looking motherfuckers going to the going to Target. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's funny. Yeah. It's funny to me. It's not a bad. I'm not. I'm just funny. Do you look at somebody different if they have a white wife? Uh, no, I don't. I, I'm trying to think. <laughs> Cause you know, like you know, I'm trying. To, no, I, I, I actually don't. I don't. Yeah. But I know it's so. In my head, I know it's gonna be easy to argue with her, like like little simple shit. Like, bitch, what a salt and pepper at? Like, it's like how you went to the grocery store and ain't bought no salt and pepper. Like, bitch, why you put raisins in this? Like, no, it's just simple right. shit. It's gonna be a lot of food arguments in our house. <laughs> bitch, why did you get Coke Zero? <laughs> <laughs> what? Coke Zero? <laughs> it's crazy. <man. laughs> Putting race on Coke Zero hey, is crazy. I, I know goddamn well you ain't pour that Fabuloso out that pot. <laughs> What was that purple? Bitch, that was the Fabuloso. <laughs> you keep balling that. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. So it'd be a little silver shit. Like, bro, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. That Coke Zero shit is so real to me, bro. You be kicking it with white your wife. White people love that shit. They love that. White people love Coke Zero. Nigga, they, they, they made it They funny. love Coke Zero, bro. It's like, it's like I don't know, like the key to Americans' power is in the Coke Zero. That's crazy. Bro, like, you go to somebody's house, you're like, if you don't get this nasty ass shit out my fucking this face. flat ass soda. This weird ass shit, hell. bro. If we, if we drinking soda, nigga, we drinking soda. I want to hear a serious, nigga. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> Weird ass shit. Nah, man, Van. We, we, I think you, you pushing up and got down. Yeah. You say you gonna break the street. We we might go six for six this time, man. Prospects. Yeah. So I'm then a... when we hit, like you know, what I mean, we'll send you a bottle of forty two. Nah, y'all gonna have to send me some money because it's gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, what's up with you, man? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shoot some money, bro. Hey, that nigga say I ain't do that shit with no 42. I heard what you say y'all get back. I niggas get money. Y'all got the sponsorship. Y'all got the shit. It's dope. Yeah, man. We lost a couple sponsors. Why? <laughs> Prize pick still holding us down. Yeah, really. Why, why yeah. y'all why y'all lost them? Man, cuz they they be wanting me to try this shit on air. It was, it was one of food sponsors, and I ate that. I said, when this shit nasty, it's so much <laughs> So they dropped us up. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, you couldn't have, you couldn't have ate it and just, just played shit, it off? Shit, I thought it was going to be good. And I was like, man, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I ain't know we were live. <laughs> 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 but then we had a better help commercial. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fucked them up. Oh man, you hey, if you nigga gotta call somebody, hey man. <laughs> 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 oh, bro, I'm fucking tripping, bro. I'm a <laughs> so why they ain't came back? Why we ain't re up with them? All right, yeah, they with everybody else on the company. They said they ain't they ain't think I was sincere. <laughs> you be like that sometimes, man. You you are you a do are you an advocate of therapy? Do you think I actually go to therapy? I do too, bro. And a lot of people don't realize that shit helps. It does. Bro. It helps, bro. You ever had the therapist challenge you in therapy? Yeah, but you know what, me and damn, this shit. come on, bro. We, right, we sharing now, bro. So black. I be trying to mind fuck my therapist, bro. <laughs> I, I, no, not you. You thinking? I'm saying when I say mind fuck, I'm like mind fucking, not me fucking her. I'm talking about like <laughs> challenging her, like to see if I could trick her into going down my path. <laughs> that shit don't work though. That bitch be giving me every time. She's like, that doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense <laughs> or like or nah. We're gonna go deeper. Baby. Yeah. I'm like, no, like, no, 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 you can do better. Like, I didn't come here to be challenged, nigga, help me. And no, bro, this one, they got me on some real shit. Because at first when I was going, I'm looking for her to answer certain shit. She was like, that's not my place to give you the answers. You got to seek that for yourself. So what the fuck am I actually paying you for? Bro, just just to talk. Just to talk. Just, bro, and it, it works. To just to talk. Some of these athletes need to start going to therapy, for real. Really? You know what the funny thing about being an athlete is, bro? <clears throat> just your development. So I was talking to somebody. Shout out to my man, 19 Keys. 
Um, I was talking to my man about, uh, my man 19 Keys about this. Mm -hmm. The development of the athlete. So think about this. So we all had our stages of like having bad ideas and fucking off, right? Right. Nobody cared. Nobody gives a fuck. Like you go, you go through the time where you think the earth is flat or you go through the time where you think all of this dumb ass shit and some older person tells you, hey, you're stupid or one of the 5% that tells you to read a book and you read the book or you do all... Everybody goes through it. Everybody mm -hmm. has a thing where they're like, you know, blah, blah, blah. You got to figure out your relationship with God, the whole thing. These athletes, they do that, but they do it in front of the whole world. Yeah, and everybody watching. Right, so it's like... I remember when Kyrie was doing this whole thing, it's like... I'm not, I don't want to, for some of these guys, it's the, you get to like 29, 30, you've accomplished everything, then you start reading books and going through the whole thing. Next thing you know, you come out, you got a fucking turban on. People are like, yo, what the fuck is this <laughs> motherfucker on? You know what I'm saying? Like, they, 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 they like, they like, what Sage is in the arena. They slick just finding they themselves. They slick yeah, exactly. find, they do, they going through the same shit that you we went, went through, through. But it just was. It was just, and it you went through it younger because you wasn't putting so much shit into sports and all of this stuff. They stopped, they get a little comfortable and they're like, okay, what else is out there? Then they start dressing weird, eating weird shit, doing crazy shit. And we go, look, this this person is crazy. Nah, they're growing up. Their development yeah, as right a person. Before, right, right before, right before your eyes. eyes. So that is the reason why they actually do need people to, to talk to. Mm -hmm. So they don't fuck their whole life up on Twitter or Instagram with some dumbass shit. Nah, that's some real shit. Because in, in everybody live, we know somebody. Even, man, and I don't mind because my cousin, she probably wouldn't mind. But everybody go through <laughs> shit. Everybody go through shit where they find themselves. My cousin, she was with girls for a long time. Yeah. Now she happily married. To a nigga. To a nigga. Good for him. Yeah. Nah, she still cheap. <laughs> <laughs> she still like backslide, but she got a happy family. That's but good that, though. Yeah, but it's like you go through that. <laughs> <laughs> like I think that shit just running our family. We just can't be <laughs> we can't we can't be truthful. <laughs> But she is being truthful now. She he he know. Know what? He know that she <laughs> fuck with girl. Nah, he don't know. <laughs> and he don't watch this show. I don't think. But if he do, he know now. Cause it's only he know which cousin I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but this, like, I I feel like this man on some real shit. I think. If you don't do that type of stuff, like think about somebody like LeBron. LeBron done lived his life all, damn near perfect. Yeah. You 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 know what I'm saying? If people they speculate and say all this stuff, but he never did nothing crazy. Like when you get to a certain age, do you like live with regrets? Like, damn, what if I would have, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it would seem like it's a lot of pressure to be under, but he's yeah. also good at lying. <laughs> so the rest of the niggas master class. Like the, the rest of the niggas read the book. Uh -huh. And then they come back and they give you all of the ideas from the book or whatever, and they fuck some shit up. LeBron just act like he read that bitch and then he don't read it. Van, so you don't think he read not one of them? He books? didn't read. Come on, nigga. He read none of those books, and it's okay. <laughs> LeBron is a great father. Why well, even show great, the book? Because he want he wanna he wanna be that. You know what hey, I'm saying? Hey, you know how them Family Matters uh, intros where they were acting like they were catching them off guard at it. <laughs> 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 so Le LeBron is good at that part of it. And for him to have, I mean, people say whatever they, they little say. He really is. He's not, I wouldn't say, so I look at LeBron as the greatest athlete of all time. And when I say Thanks. the greatest athlete of all time, I don't mean he's the best basketball player or the best whatever. He is the greatest athlete of all time. Mm -hmm. To be able to, like, deliver on all of that shit and stay out of trouble, and be a good father, and be a good role model, and have the business, and have, he just... And put people on. Put people on. But you know what? I think, but he cares enough about that. Mike didn't give a fuck. Nah, I didn't care at all. Mike didn't give a fuck, dog. He, bro, Mike... Mike just wanted to win, bro. He the thing I liked about Michael Jordan is he'll be, he'll be straight, up. Straight, straight up, fuck you, and everything. I don't fucking care about what you're going through. I don't give a fuck about your cause. Republicans buy sneakers too. I don't give a fuck. At least he, you knew where he stood, right? Yeah. Nigga, Mike hates rap, hates rap and rappers. Always dissing a rapper. He never tried to be hip hop. Nigga wore his pants up to his titties for like his entire <laughs> fucking career. Dressed weird. He don't give a fuck. 
He big, don't even big wear the good Jordans. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he don't, don't even wear the good Jordans. Nah. That nigga be having the golf Jordans on. <laughs> Jordan trainers. Like, what niggas... Like, in our community, what niggas joke on each other about, Jordan wear that shit. Like, niggas... If I see you with Team Jordans, like, it might be niggas joking niggas who wear Team Jordans. Micah had the Team Jordans on. Yep. Tied tight as a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't give a fuck. Don't, don't give care. a fuck. What's the movie again, man, so we can check it out? Once again, for the very first time. And shout out, it going to, what, what all festivals are it going to? So we just we just came back from the- Sunday? Um, nah, we didn't make Sundays. Oh. Thanks for reminding us. Uh, <laughs> like, we just, we just came back from uh, the Pan-African Film Fest. Oh, that's a good one, though. That's a great one, yeah, yeah, in Los Angeles. We're going to Minneapolis. We were in Berlin. We won the Audience Award at Talent. So uh, we're looking for distributorship right now, but the movie's out, Higher Learning, uh, the podcast. Universe, all of that. Hey, stuff. so you said the movie out. How can we check it out? Well, it's not out yet. Oh, okay. It's just... It's, uh, out going to it's the going So y'all waiting it's to pitching. see. Y'all didn't try to direct how, the consumer thing? It? We might. Yeah, it's just it's just it's maybe like uh, uh right at two hours. So I know you want you want an Oscar for a short a Academy film. Award for Academy a short, film. A short film. Yeah, that yeah. one was only about thirty eight minutes. Gotcha. But but um yeah, so it, it just trying to see what the options are, like where it goes. It's a very artistic movie, mm -hmm. like incredibly artistic movie. All black cast, poetry, dance. Shout out to stuff. that, huh? I said shout out to that. Very artistic. All black. Movie. All black cast. All black cast. Like I like to do stuff black. You know, I can tell you. Like it's it's uh yeah, dressing all black, you know, dressing all black. Yeah. You know, that's because I'm fat. But like, <laughs> it's trying to slim that shit down for Atlanta. You know, but that's Atlanta. like that. Um, you know, you don't get a chance to. You know, I work with Spotify. Mm -hmm. and those are big corporations and stuff. That's why when I see what's going on around here, it's inspiring. Like I say that, I mean that. It's like really inspiring to come to a place where is everyone wants to get to that point where it's for us by us. And like we're making the the rules. Like right. I would go to I would go to Revolt when I come to Revolt, and it's just different. Like you at Revolt. Oh yeah, it's different now. And is <laughs> I mean, it's different from how stuff is other places. Oh yeah, like yeah, like <laughs> wow, boy, fuck man. It, man, fuck it, man. I'm just saying, I like being around the energy. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, Black woman in there come in and, and it's a good vibe. Yeah. I guess it is different. It's different. <laughs> hey man, I, like y'all were tuning in. The Appreciate our guests, man. Let's go to the man. Make sure you check out his podcast. How you learning? Till next week, man. <laughs> Oh, bro. That's it all the way down.